Hey everybody, welcome to the weekly vlog. This is the first time on the new webcam, so I don't need nearly as much front lighting and it still looks passable. I have a light coming in from the window. This is widescreen so you can see way more of the room and there's nothing to look at but uh, cardboard. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just zoom in. All right, so the first subject of the week is Mass Effect. So you might remember I had a Mass Effect stream through I was doing like, God, like four years ago, <laughs> something insane like that, where I had never played the Mass Effect games. I played like a little bit of the second one. So I decided uh, Brandon being a huge fan of the Mass Effect games would join me as I played through the Mass Effect games. Um, and it got sidetracked. I don't really remember why. I think I was just doing a lot of things at the time. So I've been thinking about bringing that back now that Andromeda's out, where I'd be doing Mass Effect 1, then 2, then 3, and then Andromeda, which I am fairly sure is its own thing. Like, 1, 2, and 3 can go into each other where, like, it's the same character through all of them. So you can carry over your save file and your decisions will carry over, which is pretty cool. But still, I'd rather like to catch up in the series, especially because I keep hearing Andromeda is not very good. Uh, I keep seeing things of the animation, which are really sketchy, and I saw a lot of information about their head animator and her portfolio online. Oh, Jesus. Maybe I'll get back into that more once things are confirmed more, but what I saw, and it could have just been people fucking with Twitter, I don't know, but what I saw was a picture of her portfolio where for experience, where you need to fill in what experience you have, she wrote very experienced, which is not an answer. That does not tell them what experience you have. And her demo project on the front of the page, the first thing that comes out is a highly animated, nice looking text that says, I hate men. So I really hope that's just someone with some really creative editing skills who's fucking with Twitter. But I don't know. I'm not gonna say that's for sure the real thing until I do more research into that. But oh my god, I hope it's the real thing because that's hilarious. Anyway, what do you think of me doing a series on Mass Effect and like bringing that back? I don't really know any spoilers on the series, luckily. And back when I was playing Mass Effect 1 a few years ago with Brandon, I don't think we got very far. I'm sure I'd remember it bit by bit as I went along, but I would really doubt I got even like 25% of the way into the game. I probably got like 25% of the way in the plot. That's probably how far I got in the main story plot, and I went pretty light on side questing. I think if I do it again now, I'd go pretty heavy on side questing, really explore the games, you know? So let me in the comment section what you, what you think about that, if that's something you'd like to see me do, just let me know. Next, a Yakuza 0 best of video is on its way because, oh god, that series has been so much fun. Not many people have been watching it because I don't know how many people who watch my channel know the Yakuza series. I'm new to it actually, Zero is the first one I've played and I'm instantly enjoying it. I think the first two episodes I uploaded were pretty shaky because it was just me on solo commentary which is never as good for the streams and it seems like the audience agreed with that poll from the last week. But now that I've got Joe in who's a big fan of the series and I had Brandon in one just doing co commentary and learning it along with me, it's been really fun. I've got a best of video coming out soon that's like seven minutes long and it's just of like part of the first three play sessions we got so much material out of it including me failing at a crane game for like 15 minutes and there was also that time i played space harrier and that time i drop kicked a dude out of a window and those many times that Mr. Shakedown beat the shit out of me in the streets. It's a really, really fun game. It doesn't take itself too seriously. Next, the Fallout 4 survival mode playthrough. I think I want to bring that back. I did one session of it and people seem to enjoy it, but I really want to do more of that because that was really fun. Um, I just recently remembered I had that. Um, I hope I'm, I'm like 99% sure the game has Steam uh, cloud saves because I was playing that previously on my on my hard drive, like with my with Windows on my hard drive, and then now that I have Windows as a fresh install of Windows 10 on my solid state, some game saves don't automatically transfer over. I'm like 99% sure Fallout 4 as well, so I don't think we need to worry about that too much. But if you don't know, survival mode is where uh, it's you can only save by sleeping, so it's very hard to find times to save, so you gotta be very careful. Uh, you take a lot of damage, but you also deal a lot of damage. It's a very intense way of playing the game. However, because the game is glitchy as fuck, it can be really frustrating, because I only did one play session of it on stream, and I already uploaded it to YouTube, 
And during that one play session, I had a glitch where if you operate a terminal at an angle the game doesn't like, you're walking into the terminal forever and there's no way to stop it. And so I had to reset like 15 minutes back in the game just to get around that. It was infuriating. EVJ in the community actually made a best of video of that one stream and I've been sitting on uploading it forever because I keep forgetting I have it and I need to make a like watch more outro video thing for it. But I've been waiting on it for so long that end cards exist now and annotations are getting removed soon. So like, I, I'm gonna have to rework it again? I don't know. I, I just, I want it to be so that if someone makes a best of video for me and I like it enough that I upload on my channel, it has custom text so people know that someone else made it and like, hey, you can click on this link to go to their channel for if they have a channel, you know? Stuff like that. I, I just gotta sit down one day and figure out what I do for that outro. And then I'll probably upload the best of video so that you guys can see, like, get a taste of what that series is like before I start it back up, and I think that'll be a lot of fun. Also, we have a Crusader Kings 2 stream today. Um, I mean, it doesn't do any good to tell you how long from now, but it's probably gonna be at, like, 2.30? 2.30 p.m., something like that, Eastern Time, so just work out however far that is for you. YouTuber of the Week, though, and this is one that you absolutely need to watch, uh, over on the Pocket Vox channel, my, uh, my friend Falstad there made a, well, he made two reviews of the Star Wars Dark Forces games, and let me know in the comment section if you've played either of those games, because those were old, like, I think the first one may have been DOS. No, I think before Dark Forces, there was another game that was basically like the, you know, the first Dark Forces, like, you know, there's a game that goes into the second one, goes into the third one, kind of, and that one might have been on DOS. I'm not 100% sure. It, my memory of this is very poor, I'll tell you now. I mostly played a lot of Dark Forces 2 in the expansion. But anyway, he's a super small YouTube channel, and he did really good reviews like a year ago on Dark Forces. I just recently went back and rewatched him. I'm like, fuck, I kind of wish he kept doing reviews because these are actually really, really funny. So I'll have had a card on screen to Dark Forces 2 because I think that's the better review, uh, but they're both good. I'll have both of them at the end card at the end of this, uh, at the end of this vlog. I like how this week and last week, the end card, both videos linked to someone else's channel. Like, I'm just sending everybody off to another channel to like not even watch me don't even have an option for my own channel this is like a big no-no on youtube for promoting your own channel and yeah, fuck it i want the other people to get viewed anyway i think that's it for this vlog i need to get back to editing some more yakuza zero because that's really really fun uh thank you everybody for watching until next time have a nice day